The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden Coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on, guys? Clickwood here, back again with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team video. Guys, today we are going to be opening up some packs, trying to get this new Larry Fitzgerald and Sam Shields, which are in packs currently. There's limited edition cards, limited time cards of both Fitzgerald and Sam Shields. Let's take a look at the Larry Fitzgerald first. I think this is the one most people are the most excited about, of course. We do have this one. Again, Larry Fitzgerald, a playoff legend card. This is a card that's actually pretty close to my heart in a way because it, this edition of Larry Fitzgerald actually won me a ton of money in playoff fantasy football one year. Um, he was a freaking monster and just like made me a ton of money, so that was really awesome. But uh, anyway, guys, Larry Fitzgerald, six foot three, of course, beast of a height of a wide receiver, at least. The disappointment about this card is that it's only 89 speed. That is where this card lags behind. In pretty much everything else, it is really, really good. Look at the catching. You look at the jumping, catching traffic, spec catch. Route running is amazing. I mean, this is definitely a beastly wide receiver. Like I said, the one real problem is that it's only 89 speed. Fitzgerald's never been a super top end speed guy, so that's not particularly surprising, but it is a little bit disappointing still. Um, now, this does also have the slot expert and route runner chemistries. Um, oddly enough, the same ones in that uh, uniform that I pulled yesterday, the Buccaneers. Go back and check out that video if you guys are interested. Um, but yeah, this card is pretty decent overall. I, I definitely think that it's um, a worthy player for you know, being a top end wide receiver in this game, but that speed is really a disappointment, so that definitely sucks. Uh, but overall, again, pretty good attributes of this card. So the other one right now, oh, if, we'll go back in here. Um, the other one here here that we're going to be taking a look at is actually Sam Shields. Um, now what sucks is that it does actually seem like there's a good possibility that Sam Shields might actually end up having to retire. Um, so that's definitely never cool. Um, we don't like to see that out of our players, of course. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this is definitely a good player. It's It sucks, though, that he's uh, dealing with the issues that he is from health-wise anyway. Um, so, obviously, we've got the Will Shields there. Let's see here. Buy now price. Let's see if we can find one for a good price. Uh, let's see here. So, the cheap one, that's the set one. Um, the limited time one is going for 572000 right now. And that contains um, the chemistries. Let's see here. The d -d 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 Oh, yeah. Deep Defender. That's right. I always forget what those are called. Um, Deep Defender. And then the Pick Specialist as well. So, that's cool. Acceleration, catching, and play recognition on that one as well. Um, so, that's pretty cool. Now, the attributes on this card are definitely good. 93 for speed, 91 acceleration. So, he's good enough that he's going to be able to keep up with most of the receivers in this game. 92 speed, 94 zone coverage. Uh, press is decent, but I, I still am coming from the camp that I don't think press actually matters. And I'll get to that in another video. I promise you guys at some point we're going to retest press and, uh, and release on the wide receiver side. Last year, though, press did not matter at all. The only thing that mattered was release. And I know a lot of people didn't want to believe that. But you're going to have to trust me on it. I, I'm telling you guys the truth on, truth on that. I would not lie. So, um, all right. We've got 78 catching on it as well. So, yeah. Overall, pretty good card. Now, I have a little bit of a bone to pick with EA today. Um, and a lot of people might have seen this on Twitter. I was asking about it because I legitimately didn't know the answer to this question. Um, so, when you go on here, the first thing that you're going to see is that it says guaranteed legend player. Each legendary pack also contains a bonus playoff player. So that's cool. I mean, we definitely like to see that. The uh, legendary playoff packs with uh, Brian Dawkins on the cover. Cool. That's nice. I mean, that's pretty descriptive about what it is, right? You go in here and you look at, like, the browse the store. Um, and if you look at it, what it actually says, legendary playoff pack. Let's take a look. Gives one gold or better legend player. Okay. So that tells us it's a gold or better legend player. Chances are it's going to be one of the gold, basically the collectible versions. I mean, you can run those players if you want to, but chances are you're just going to take them and sell them on the auction house or put them into the set to make the set legend, right? So that's pretty descriptive about what it is, right? Now, the problem is that they don't do that with everything. EA does not do that with everything, and I have a major problem with this because I believe this is seriously misleading. So take a look. The first thing that you see in the marketplace, this caught my attention, six, six legendary playoff bundle. I was like, okay, cool. So I click it, and it says contains six legendary playoff packs, which we saw 
The, each one of those is going to contain a gold or better legend player, plus a bundle topper that guarantees you or gives you one legend from this week. Now, here's the problem. When it says one legend from this week, it does not say gold or better legend from this week. All that it says is legend from this week. So are we to believe that this is a standard legend? When I say a standard legend, I'm talking a real legend, like the freaking Larry Fitzgerald that's beastly, or the Sam Shield that's beastly, or is it one of the crappy gold ones? Because that's guaranteed, I, I'm telling you, without even opening this, that's what it is. But here's the problem. They don't say that anywhere. It's completely misleading in my opinion. They could very easily just say, gives one gold or better legend from this week like they do in the freaking pack descriptions. So I don't understand why they didn't do that. Uh, to me, this is a, a really stupid thing and it, it does bother me a lot that they do that kind of stuff all the time. I mean, I've bought bundles before expecting that I'm going to get a legend or let's say an elite player of some sort in a certain promo. And it ends up being that that's not the case. And it, it's just, it's misleading and it's bullshit. I don't understand why they have to do that. They make enough freaking money on this game that they don't need to do that kind of stuff. So end rant on that. But uh, if you guys disagree with me, let me know in the comments section below. I mean, obviously, I don't think that they're going to be giving away the freaking limited edition versions of the Legends for $50. But like, it's still misleading. Even, even without that, it's still misleading. And they do that kind of stuff all the time. This isn't the only time that they've done it. Trust me. All right. Anyway. Legendary playoff pack. We're gonna open up three of these because we can open up three of them with uh, with coins So we're gonna start off by doing just a standard uh, NFL playoff pack And well actually let's do two of those and then three of the legend playoff packs so that we have a good chance at pulling the Larry Fitz or the um, Or the uh, shields. Let's try that out. Let's see if we can get anything decent out of here. All right Greg Matt nothing 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 Brandon Bostic. Okay Come on, we get a Chris Hogan there. Okay, 84 overall. Let's get some elites though. Alfred Blue. I mean, these are 30k packs, and you still hardly ever pull freaking elites out of them. It's so AIDS. I don't understand why it's like that, but uh, this game, man, they make it so difficult on you to actually build a team by opening packs. It's just crazy. I don't get it, but you know, that, they're making money. They're making money. I I, I went about that. I, I talked about that yesterday on Twitter too. Um, a lot of people think that like EA's primary thing should be making a good game and yes I get your point on that, but the problem is that Realistically their main goal is making money So when they do stuff like this and they drop these just terrible things into the game and nobody gives a crap about them It's like that's just them making more money and at the end of the day as a corporation their job is to make money for their investors So like I get it to some extent, you know, I, I really do all right we got our legendary playoff packs, though. These are 90,000 freaking coins each. Like, there's no way I'm going to make my coins back unless I pull a Shields or a Larry Fitzgerald. So just in advance, I highly recommend against doing this. But we're just going to do it and see what we get out of it. Again, I'm not expecting to get anything good, but why the hell not? Let's give it the old, let's give it the old college try. Let's, let's see what we can get here out of these things. See if we can at least get some freaking legend pulls, for goodness sake. I mean, Jesus. Spending 90,000 coins. We get a cleats there. All right, here's a legend. And it's, okay, it's a collectible. Paul Krause, all right. At least Paul Krause is a good player in this one. Uh, D'Angelo Williams and then Marvin Lewis. Ozzie Newsome. So there's our legend player. Oh, boy. At least it said, though, that it's a gold or better legend player. Like, I'm not, I don't have as big of a problem with it when they do that kind of a thing. I still think it's nonsense that they call those even legend players. But, you know, they should just call them, like, gold legends. And here we go. And here's an elite. Let's go. And it's a uh, Marcellus Wiley collectible. Oh boy. Whatever. Nonsense. Marcus Peters. We've already pulled. Or never mind. That's not Marcus Peters. Philip Gaines. Yeah. We've. So basically, we we got nothing real special out of that pack, unfortunately, for ninety thousand coins. Oh boy. We're gonna need to pull some like elite Larry Fitzgerald collectible or something like that, or like Jerry Rice or something like that to even have a shot. At making our coins back or possibly maybe we'll get super lucky and do like we did with Chad Ochocinco and pull the freaking limited edition legend that would be freaking cool but I'm not expecting it like I just don't have great expectations when I open up these packs get the Mariota there and we get a Dallas Clark collectible probably one of the worst ones you can get out of the uh, legend collectibles at least out of the elites come on we pulled like a, I, I swear we pulled this Philip Gaines like four times already we've only opened up what four packs this is our fourth pack like, I pulled it out of freaking every pack, it feels like. 
And we get a... Alright, Will Shields. Troll me a little bit more. Don't give me a Sam Shields. Give me a freaking Will, Will Shields. Why the hell not? Bruce Matthews collectible there. And final card is a Jake Matthews. Alright, so... Not really anything special out of that pack either. Final one, ladies and gentlemen. And I want to hear from you guys. Are you enjoying this promo that they have this weekend? Do you guys like the Larry Fitzgerald? Do you like the Sam Shields? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments section below. Let's open up this final pack and hopefully we can pull something decent. We get a fat Eddie Lacy there. I call him Fat Eddie. All right, Allen Robinson. We're going to go from the back on this one. Maybe we'll get super lucky. Who knows? Tyler Shatley. All right, come on. Come on, we're getting down here. Here's the Elite. Come on, baby. One time, and it's an Ozzy Newsome collectible. Ah, come on. We still got one more, though. Will Ryan Shazier. Here it is. Come on. One time, baby. It's a freaking base Elite Derek Johnson. Ah, all right. Come on. Don't troll me anymore, EA. This is my time. Give me something good. Please. John Elway collectible. All right. And this is it. Final pack. Or card of the pack. And we get a Javon Curse collectible. Come on, man. All right, guys. That is going to do it for this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please do me a favor and drop a like on the video. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel as well. And also, be sure to hit that notification button at the bottom because I know a lot of people have been having problems getting notifications, not on just my videos, but other people's videos as well. Right next to where you see subscribe, there should be another button there that you can actually click to get notifications when the videos go live. So thanks again, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Be sure to drop a like again. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.